Cory Booker has been out of state in Washington, D.C. and California for a week. Tonight at the estate of Los Angeles business magnate Ron Burkle, he's the guest of honor at a campaign fundraiser. Among those attending, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Booker's Senate opponent, Steve Lonigan, has scheduled a counter event in Newark tonight, a red carpet rally for regular people, he says, at this South Ward restaurant. Let's pull attention to the fact that Cory Booker is parading around Hollywood and San Francisco with Matt, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I'm going to be with the working people of Newark. Am I mocking them? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's an outrage that this guy's out there in California for a week while Newark is convulsing with violent crime and failed unemployment rates and kids are dropping out of school. At Booker campaign headquarters in Newark, spokesman Kevin Griffiths defends the mayor's peripatetic fundraising. I think that we have officially reached the political silly season here when a candidate is being criticized for having to raise money. I mean, I think everybody knows that New Jersey is one of the most expensive states in which to run in the entire country. And so we've got to do what we need to do to make sure that we have the resources to be able to reach New Jersey voters wherever they are. The Booker camp says voters want leaders with friends in high places. They like the fact that Corey has a national platform and then he's able to go out and take Newark issues or eventually we hope as senator to be able to take New Jersey issues and make them the, the nation's issues, bring them to national attention. When I'm elected, the people of New Jersey will have someone in a high place. That's me, representing them. We caught up with Lonigan at his home in Bogota. Six young campaign workers are living here with the candidate and his wife. Some in New Jersey think House Speaker John Boehner's new threat of a government shutdown could tarnish the Republican brand and spill over onto a conservative like Lonigan. People are going to be looking for candidates who are able to find common ground. Cory Booker, as mayor of, of Newark, has been able to do that on some big issues, on some very difficult issues. With a government shutdown, there will still be military, we'll still have essential services, seniors will still get their Social Security checks, but uh, we'll have a real discussion over the future of our economic policies. I'm not afraid of a government shutdown. A new poll out today from Stockton State College has Booker up by 26 points, 58 to 32. Governor Deval Patrick of Massachusetts is coming in for Booker tomorrow. Governor Rick Perry of Texas is coming in for Lonigan next week as the nation's only high-profile October election heads toward the final turn. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron in Newark.